Presentation is one of the key features in nearly every aspect of life. Dressing up, interacting with others, right presentation is the goal. We present ourselves in a manner that goes with our personality. But what is the personality of our 3D product? Let's go into the realm of product rendering. To elevate your renders to the next level, the background plays a vital role. Gone are the days of simply placing your product on a flat plane background and calling it a day. In setting the tone and enhancing the overall aesthetic of this showcased object, consider how the background can complement the product's characteristic and create a balanced visual. Think about the nature of the object that you're rendering. What is the personality of the object? Is it a sleek, elegant item? or is it a rugged industrial tool? If you're showcasing a rugged tool, a background with a rough surface or rough terrain would make more sense than a smooth, polished background. These choices add in more character to the hero object, emphasizing the product's intended purpose and creating a more immersive experience for the viewer. As a general rule of thumb, Textured backgrounds and surfaces tend to be more visually appealing than their smooth and bland counterparts. By carefully choosing or creating the right background textures, materials and lighting setups, we can create a cohesive and visually compelling render. Similar to photography, where photographers carefully select textured backgrounds to enhance their product shots, we can and should apply the same principles in 3D rendering. Remember. The goal is to create a seamless, yet tangible integration between the object and its environment. The background should complement and enhance the object's aesthetic. And as always, strive for a balanced composition where the background elements do not overpower the product itself, but rather provide a visual context that adds to the visual meaning. So conclusively, the background is not just a flat plane, it's an integral part of the storytelling process. That's it for this one, and I will see you in the next part. Farewell.